Okay, from the email you got from FileMaker, you go to the bottom and there's a software download link. Click on it. And now you have two sections, uh, FileMaker Pro Advanced and FileMaker Server. We're going to click on Mac to download the DMG. And also you will need to download the license certificate. That is something like this. So we have the uh, DMG and the license cert dot FM cert. Once you have this, I'm going to double click on the DMG. If you haven't installed the previous FileMaker server, like 16 and 15, you have to go into extras and you choose the one you want to in uninstall. Remember that you have to close your databases and you have to make a backup of your databases first before you uninstall. Once you have uninstalled your previous FileMaker server version, uh, we're going to double click on this icon, uh, continue, 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 agree. You have two options with your license. You can install it in up to two uh, servers, uh, the master and the worker. But anyway, you have to install first the master version first. The worker is uh, in case you are going to run a web direct. Let's just select server master. Continue. We're going to leave the account as FM server. If you have uh, another account with uh, certain privileges or you, you are an advanced user, you're going to click on username. But in our case, we're just going to say uh, to select FM server, click on continue. Uh, in my case here, it's funny because uh, I've done this um, installation before and it didn't allow me to continue. It said that uh, I didn't have the, cer the certificate. In that, if that happens to you, what you want, what you have to do is click on the trial uh, version and continue. So, but apparently I don't have a problem or I don't have an issue with it. But uh, if you have a message that says you can't find the certificate, just select the trial uh, setting. Click on continue, select the admin password for FileMaker server. And uh, here you're going to select the, your username for uh, your admin console for FileMaker server. Password and confirm your password. Also, you need to confirm to create a four digit pin. Remember to keep this information in a safe place. Click on continue. Space is going to take on our computer. Install, type your password for uh, your server machine. Click on install. Successfully installed. Do you want to launch? Uh, let's click on launch. Uh, we type username and password for the server admin. Okay, here uh, is a bit different from the server 16. Server 16, you have to give the server a, like the server name. You would normally have to name your server as the uh, fully quali qualified domain name. Before we continue, uh, we're going to close uh, this window, uh, this and finder. We're going to eject the server image, uh, close. Okay, uh, before we continue, it's asking us to import the certificate received from the cert uh, certificate authority. Uh, we need to go to, to GoDaddy, in our case, GoDaddy. Uh, we already have a certificate. Uh, for our domain. In case you don't know how to purchase a certificate, we have another video showing how to, step by step on how to uh, get your certificate from GoDaddy. We have that video for server 16, but in the meantime, uh, uh, let's assume you already have purchased your certificate, your standard. I have a standard SSL certificate from GoDaddy. Click on the certificate. And here uh, I'm going to download the certificate to, um, but here I just have to server type, I just select uh, other and download a zip file. When you download the zip file, you're going to get this uh, folder in your desktop normally. Now uh, we're going to uh, this section again, and we're going to say import certificate. And in this section we have Okay, in this folder, we have two cert uh, certificate. 
uh, this one with the long name, the, the like long number, uh, is going to be our sign certificate. So we're going to say browse, uh, choose the folder, and choose the long certificate, choose the intermediate certificate. We're going to click on browse, and it's the second one, the bundle G something, G2, G1, CRT. Click, choose, get the private. For the private, we need to go into uh, devices, HD, library, FileMaker, we need to look for FileMaker server, uh, C store, and is um, uh, on C store. You need to find the server key.pem, and then you click on private key. We'll look for HD, library, FileMaker server, C store, server key.pem, choose. And then after this, you need to uh, key your private key password. Once you've keyed your uh, password, uh, in my case, I get this certificate imported successfully. Restart FileMaker Server Service uh, Windows or FileMaker Server Background Processes to apply the change. Okay, uh, here in um, configuration, we go into SSL certificate and then we'll see that uh, the information for our certificate, uh, just a note because uh, I noticed that, well, I already, as, a, as I had imported my certificate from this FileMaker Server 16, I had the server key.pem. In this case, I'm, I know you're not going to have this server key.pem in the first section. So what you, need, what you have to do is continue without the SSL and then import the certificate. Uh, we're going to do this on our next video because I know it's not very clear um, here, because in my case, as I said before, I had uh, a preview certificate imported on um, FileMaker Server 16, and I used that certificate as I didn't have the option to send a request. We're going to have more on this on this section because I have to do another um, uh, server, uh, and I will try to do that from scratch. But just to let you know that don't worry if you don't have the if you don't know how to get your server key.pem uh, I will show you how to do it in our next video. I'm just going to sign out uh, just to check sign in again. Okay, now we need to stop our server, so we head into configuration and uh, stop database server. Uh, we need to stop as well the our databases first. Our databases and close all and then we head into configuration and stop database server click stop and then start database server again okay now i'm going to my iphone to check the the certificate